Hey guys, well, after probably, I think, three years, I'm finally going to do another video going across all the DVDs I have. And as you may notice, this is a new location now. This is my new house where I live in San Diego, and I'm going to go across everything. This is basically the horror comedies all here, TV shows, Blu-rays, I think there's some more TV there. Um, then drama and action kind of stuff, and then like miscellaneous, and then like box sets, and then extras, a lot of, them, and then some extras on the floor. And basically, the only section at the moment that's in alphabetical order is the horror. The um, these have to be put in order at some point. But the amount of time that this took was at least maybe eight hours. It took a long time. But I'm gonna go across them. I'm gonna talk about some of them. I'll you know I'll go into details with some, and then not I'm not gonna name every single title though. So let's start up here. And the horrors are always the hardest to see because they're darker. April Fool's Day, Killer Tomatoes, and I have some rare ones that are out of print up here. The Amityville box set. Alice, sweet Alice. I think that's out of print now. I know. I think they put out one with a different cover. Some of these are like bootlegs that I got at some horror conventions. And then Bad Ronald. Now this is the bootleg one, and then this is the new released one from Warner Archive, which definitely picked this up. This is one I've talked about a lot. Like if you haven't had, don't have that one, that's definitely one to get. I know the Beast is out of print. I have two copies of this. I got sent two of those. This is my friend Chris Lamartine's film, Book of Lore. Boneyard, The Blair Witch. And I have some spaces in between these to put um, extra stuff. And the Tim Rip, the Ripper, um, shot on video horror films collection. Blue Sunshine. Cannibal Camp Out. Okay, now we're going to the next row. I think you can definitely see these better than you could before. This was a weird one I got recently. The Coroner. I don't know if I showed this in a DVD update. It's a very strange one. Cannibal Ferox. It's one of the newer ones. Caesar and Honor Summer Camp. This one's still not out yet, but I'll be working with the director soon on the next film for that. Um, this is a weird one, The Curse and The Curse 2. It's like a weird one with this kid that some kind of a alien thing crashed and everyone was getting sick from the water. That was a really cool, weird one. The second one wasn't as good, though. Descent 2, I still have to watch that. This is a Deep Star 6. That was a pretty cool weird one. This is a Canadian copy of that. Like some, There's certain movies that only came out in Canada that I have a lot of those. Just making sure I can go across this so you can see all these pretty well. I'm happy to see that the director of Dead End Driving is going to be at the Fangoria um, what's called Creation Weekend of Horrors coming up in October, but if you've this is you know if you've seen this later you've missed that, but that's pretty cool. He's going to that end of a, the line. This is a really really good one. Definitely, if you haven't seen that one, it's a must see. Like I said, I don't need to name them off. I'm just trying to go across so you can see them as well as you can, and you can always slow the, this down. And uh, if there's any that you really you know that you're having a hard time reading, let me know and I'll. Let you know what they said. Here's a bust someone made of my face. Faceless. This is a really cool one. And the ginger snaps. I have the other ones. I think they're they're just out there. Here's ginger snaps. Goes over here. Gacy. This was a pretty cool. They made a. There was a period of time when they were making a lot of these serial killer movies. And they haven't been doing as many of them lately. This I've got to get the new, this just came out to Blu-ray. The Galaxy of Terror. Gate 2, this is kind of hard to find. This is another Canadian one. This is one that's de that's been out of print for a long time, Grandma's House. This is a really weird one with that, these kids that have to stay with their grandmother. 
and all this weird stuff happened. That's a really cool one. The Ghoulies. Ryan Nicholson's hangar. And one thing I do now is like if I get a Blu-ray of it, I get rid of the tape. Sometimes if it's like something that I really want to collect, I keep it and like have a lot of copies of the certain things. This is a cool weird one, Ice Cream Man. I remember there was two covers of this one when it was on VHS. One was the bloody cover with the eyeballs and stuff in it. I like the bloody one a little bit better though. The Janitor, that's a really cool indie one. Long Weekend, that was very cool. And most of these ones I'm showing you are not on Blu-ray yet. I, I know some of them are, but a good number of them aren't at the moment. Magic, that was really cool. Monster Man, this is one that I, that I really remembered really liking a lot. I know this is out of print from Troma, Monster in the Closet. Maximum Overdrive is pretty cool. This is another weird Ice Cream Man one. Um, Mr. Ice Cream Man. Now this made the, the, you know, the Ron Clint Howard one look like nothing. This one was really strange. Really, really cool though. It's something that I still have to watch like this, 976 Eva. I've had this for years and I've never gotten to watch it. Night of the Demons. And I have all three of them. One, two, three. I don't know if there was a fourth. The third one is from Canada, I know. Like some of these I have to get on Blu-ray. The Open Water just came out in a two-pack. At some point I'll get that. Perfume, this was a really good one. It's out on Blu-ray though, but in, I think, Germany. This is definitely one to pick up. If you haven't seen that. Pin, that's really good. Pinocchio's Revenge was like a Child's Play kind of knockoff. It was a kind of forgotten one. This was pretty cool. Piranha, they just put this out on Blu-ray. Return to Sleepaway Camp. Return to Living Dead. That just came out to, bl to Blu-ray. But I like to keep all these copies, although they changed some of the audio, and they, they even the Blu-ray still changed it. You can only, you know, like the only way to hear the unchanged audio of some of the dialogue is on the tape. Here's the Sleepaway Camp. Box set. Now this one does not come with the disc, but someone a while ago sent me that disc, you know, which is the trailer for the fourth film that they never did. My friend Michael Hoffman's film Spring Break Massacre. I'm going to try and go across this slow enough the stuff. I just started seeing this somewhere. I don't remember where. Really cheap. I thought it was out of print. Survival Quest, that was a pretty cool one. The Toxic Avenger films. Truth or Dare, I just did a part in Truth or Dare Part 4, Deadly Dales. That was, that was really cool. The Video Dead, that's still not out on official DVD. And I've heard so much about it coming out and that it never ended up happening. And now that's pretty much all the horror ones. Like I said, there's some random horror ones on the bottom shelf. I guess I'll show you what's down here. And this is all a lot of overfill. Like just stuff that just doesn't... I just don't have enough room because I'm trying to keep space, you know, so I can put more in. And a lot of these are like the 50 movie packs from Mill Creek. Which are cool. You can get 50 weird movies. for You can find them for as low as like $15 online. And it's just random stuff to watch. The quality is never that great. But it's cool stuff though. Now let me show you guys the comedies. The comedies are not in any specific order right now. Ladybugs just came out to Blu-ray. I have to get that. And the Ernest films. Ernest Rides Again. I know that's a hard one to find. And the one they never put out onto DVD yet is Ernest Goes to School, which I've been waiting for them to put that out at some point. 
Good Burger, Dirty Work. The Bill and Ted films. I have a feeling are probably going to be coming out to Blu-ray at some point. Especially since MGM has been putting so much lately. And here's the other. I have more Bill and Ted's. I have the pack which comes with the cartoons. Kid in Play, which is a bootleg, but the real copy I've got to get just came out from Warner Brothers On Demand, which you can just buy it and they like it's produced on demand. Paulie Shore's adopted. I don't know if I showed that in the DVD update. That was pretty good. He adopts this kid. He wants to see what it'd be like to adopt a kid. It's a pretty much a spoof documentary, fake documentary. That was pretty cool. Move this light out. Put it back over here. So not so it's in the way here. The peanut butter solution. And that still has yet to come out onto um, official DVD. Back to the Future is coming out to Blu-ray soon. Definitely something to pick up. There's another Ernest collection. Heart Beeps. That was a really cool one. A lot of people didn't like that. I liked it a lot, though. Welcome to the Dollhouse. This is still space for more stuff. The Pee Wee Herman show, which was his live show he did in the 80s. The new one, hopefully at some point they put that on DVD too. I think they're probably going to wait till after he's done doing all the shows. Electric Grandmother, that was really depressing. My Boyfriend's Back from the Dead. Matinee, which I should, I've got to get the new DVD they just put out of that recently. Encino Man, Get Real, which is a really good movie. The Brady Bunch. Now I'll show you the TV series. Two Fat Ladies. Now that, if you want a funny cooking series that's ridiculous, that is definitely one to pick up. Chris Angel, I used to like his stuff. I sort of feel like he's got this way of talking about himself. Like he's really cool. Like lately, like he talks about himself in like the third person. I don't know. I'm just not a huge fan of him anymore. He, I felt like he was used to be a lot cooler, and he always changes his styles in these weird ways. Viva La Bam, The Simple Life, which you know I thought that was a fine show. The South Park. I think I have all them. I'm pretty sure I do. Um, Kirby Enthusiasm, Night Gallery, Dirty Jobs. I like that series a lot. King of the Hill, which hopefully at some point they start to put out the other seasons. I don't, I don't know if they didn't sell that well, so they haven't been putting them out. I know Walmart started putting them as um, like two packs for nineteen dollars though. Now this people ask me about these a lot. The Are You Afraid of the Dark collection, on, and the where the place to go and get them is on Amazon.ca. The can't Canadian Amazon. They're not out in America at all. And I don't think they can put them out because of um, copyright issues or something that they're owned. They were produced in Canada or something like that. So if you want those, definitely get them there. And I think that's the cheapest way I would get them. I have a bootleg of Salute Your Shorts there. Up there is Kids in the Hall, Carnival, um, Land of the Lost, I mean, sorry, Lost in Space, Six Feet Under, Tales from the Crypt, the Tom Green. And there's still a lot of Tom Greens they have yet to put out. Lucy, at some point I'm going to get the other ones. I have some of the Penn and Teller. Uh, a couple seasons of Punky Brewster. All the Gilligan's Island. Boy Meets World. Now, Boy Meets World used to be very rare because there was some kind of an issue. They put them out of print. Now season one and two are back out. Um, th season three isn't out yet, though. But I've heard that they're going to start to release the other seasons as well. The Simpsons. This is one that was cool, the Jamie Kennedy Experiment. It was a hidden camera show that I feel like a lot of people really forgot about. It's very cool. The after school specials, which were those movie of the week kind of things from the 70s and 80s. They were cool. The Goosebumps. And I have a bootleg in there with all the Goosebumps as well, but it's really bad quality. 
Now I'll show you guys the Blu-rays. I don't think I've ever showed all the Blu-rays. Just move these lights. Probably don't even need the light for these because I want to make sure you can, well, put it like this. Got to be careful. Doesn't do that weird shine. These are in alphabetic order as well, though. Class of Newcomb High, Creep Show, Dawn of the Dead. I know there's um, new editions of Dawn and Day of the Dead that are like from, I think, Europe. Which are, I think three disc sets. At some point, I'm going to get those. Some of the Ghost House horror films. I like those those films they put out. I know they're putting, they just shot in Offspring 2, which I really like the first one. Gremlins, and hopefully at some point they put out Gremlins 2. There's Orphans down there, and the Orphan Edge. These are new ones that I have to, that I watched, and over there are the ones that are being watched for the next DVD update. I just found out there's another edition of Rambo, like an uncut version, which so I've yet to see that. But these are all the ones. That I'm watching right now. So it's a little taste of what's going to be in the next DVD update. Here's some Disney stuff. And here's some of the films that I acted in. Just some of the ones that I have at the moment. This one was just one that I did a quote on. For Troma. The Severed In. That's on Legion Films. Um, the Severed In.com. Banshee, which you can get on all major websites, and Sasquatch Assault, which I have the um, this of. It's called Assault of the Sasquatch. Now that's going to be on. Um, by now, it should be on Amazon. President's Day is coming out soon. Um, here's the TV show Extras. That was a really good show. Here's some more TV. I sort of didn't show all of them. Now here's all these you can get on demand. The um, Burn on Demand titles, titles of Rocco, Doug, Rugrats. And here's Kenny vs. Spenny. The Three Stooges. This is all the um, shorts. I think I have, I think all of them are out now. The Mike Judd, Beavis and Butthead collection. Mary with Children's. I have all of those. Now here's this. Here's some of the dramas. Sling Blade. And I have a Blu-ray of this, but this Blu-ray Blu isn't the um, extended cut, which is a really good cut of the film. And if anyone wants to like try and count how many there are here, I, I don't know. I, I even have a box that didn't fit of, I think, about 200 that just didn't fit in here because I'm trying to only put the things that I really want to display in here. Like the things on the bottom I really would like to have put out and most of them were on the shelf until I was running out of space and had to start taking things off. This is a really good one that I think is out of print called Boys Club. That was one I remember really liking a lot. And this is coming out the Blu-ray in a collection soon. Now here's all the miscellaneous, like documentaries. This is a hard one to get, the Surviving Gilligan's Island documentary, which was like them reenacting what it was like. Here's a lot of those trauma double packs, some more of the 50 movie packs. And here's some adult entertainment 70s films and Mike Rasso's films. Most of them I got him from him for DVD updates. And definitely check out his podcast 
on alternative cinema. And here's some of the ones that are on the ground. This one, you can see these. And like I said, there's no real reason these are on here, except for the fact that I could not fit them. And it was a major pain trying to. And here's a lot of the HD DVDs. I still have those. If I had the room, I'd put all these out. Even in the house that I was in before, I'm some people will be like, oh, you had a lot more space there. The truth is, I was pretty much out of space there. And those wondering about DVD updates, I'm going to start to try and do them now every two to three weeks again. So be ready for that. Try and get on a more of a better schedule with them. As long as like a film shoot or something doesn't come in the way. Well, that was all the DVDs I have out here. Thanks a lot guys for, for watching and for subscribing. And as I said, be on the lookout for more DVD updates every two to three weeks.